Yo, what is going on everybody? Hope we are well. We got the Diamond 1 last time. Diamond 1 Division 2 actually got into Division 2 on the rank up. I think we won two games after that, but didn't get anything out of it. So, sticking to the usual, the hook shot. I mean, you know, we're beating, they've beat it to death in this series. Like, really, I'm just going over the top on this uh, whole corner stuff, this lateral sequence stuff. And uh, the hook shot, because, again, you know, it's like anything. If you don't know what's to, like, what your strategy should be, then how do you know what to train? That's how I see a lot of people when they play Rocket League. They don't really have a, a proper strategy. So they don't really know how to train, but I know about the lateral sequence stuff that I've, you know, developed. You know, I've took things from other players and then just added my own and added a proper sequence to it. So I, I know about this. So here, da, 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 za. And because I know about that, I know exactly what to train. So I can tra train this in free play. I can use my pink belt. I use my hook shot. So guys, if you don't know, now you know. I have a whole... Sorry about this. <laughs> Mechanics Masterclass, and it starts with the hook shot, which is pretty much what we're using mainly through this. Bonk. Oh, wow, what a save. That was actually really good. We're going to side flip into that, and then go for another hook shot. There we go. Demo, nearly. That was a, a great save from them there, and then we did the proactive triangle defending just to do another hook shot. This was stepping it up a little bit. We grabbed this back boost. But yeah, we've got it free. It's free on this channel. I've got loads of free things. Free all lockdown is this literally lockdown the program. It's basically all of this. You're adding grounded. You're adding some of the other tweaks that we got. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to know more about this lateral sequencing that I'm using through the majority of this series, then hit me up on Discord because I do have a, a premium program. 36 hours of coaching and six hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching with myself to help you understand and learn all this. It's all of the videos from the live pacifist system seminar you could say hopefully that can help you we've got a lot of people on that it's a really popular package and i do appreciate that so we can fake this one that will uh, hook shot into the corner grab the boost and again you can just go for a van shot and they're probably done because of the speed they're just using their boost they're using the boost i'm gonna do a front flip into a side flip i'm just gonna grab this Move close, move close. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Just panic, panic, panic. Look at the panic. There it is. We're going to just try and take that. I actually got the rock, so I want to take it to the other corner, but we're trying to take that to the corner. So I needed to take that to the same corner, but I actually mistouch it. So right here, you can see that I actually misread that flick. That was, I would have been over the top. And we can fake this again. We actually just do a fake there. Because then they think you're going to go, and we're going to do that. Because I need the boost. And that sort of sets up the hook shot. And that, again, it was like a potential for a hook shot demo. If they go for a shot, it's fine. I'm in here. Again, grab this, grab this, hide the nameplate. There we go. You see, you see how much players overthink the game now. You know, if they flick that, they've probably got. Oh, God. I just left an open. If they flick that, they've probably got me. But because they're like trying so many things, I want to do a fake into a breezy, into a musty. You're doing too much. You could just front flick that in your happy days, you know, but it's just so much, so much. And then he left the net open, so just jab it. What I mean by that is he was facing forward, which means he had no mobility, and he wasn't goal side. So you can just jab that over the top when they're in no man's land like that. Just going to wait. Sneaky. Get out of there. Going to wait here over the top, into the middle, lateral dribble. And then we're just going to go around them like that. No hook shot, um, no power slide needed. We're really trying to minimize the power slide. And I missed all the boost pads, you'll notice. But sometimes you will end up sort of in between the boost pads, and that's fine. You know, the, the main thing is, if you do that, you just have to think very proactively. Because you don't want to be hanging around in between boost pads. It's not a good idea. I'm going to fake this. Here comes the flick attack. Again, they're just overdoing it. Doing way too much. Way too much. This is why you can really let people attack you. In it. And this has always been my argument that the offense isn't where it should be. People think the offense is really good because actually the defending's really bad. But the, 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 the offense is nowhere near good enough because there's no fundamentals. People have gotten away from the fundamentals because they've listened to the wrong people. I've said this for a long time. And so now, you know, with this series, I'm just showing you guys, if you're a diamond, which I'm sure a lot of people are in ones, you can just sort of see how it's quite 
you know, it's quite straightforward. Practice what you use, use what you practice. That is one of the big keys. Let's see what rank we are. Nice, Division 3, let's go. Really, really good. Alrighty, righty here we go. We're against a retired mid. So, he might be a midfielder back in the day. <laughs> and now they're retired. So, here we go. We're going to just again just front flip into this. They've actually gone for a speed flip there. And they took a really weird path to that speed flip. So, that's not optimized. They kicked out way too far. There's something to work on there. If you are watching, you could uh, try not to kick out so far on your speed flip. A little bit of advice there. Gotta watch out for the jab because the jab allows them to go into like flicks, as you can see, because it can lift it over. We're just gonna grab this. I right, tie the ball. Whoop, look around. Where are they? There they are. Hard to see their nameplay actually. And they're gonna come in. A couple of hesitations, but no one ever hesitates long. <laughs> so we, they'll do one hesitation, then they go. We're gonna watch this, watch this, watch this. Here it is. Side flip there. We're gonna actually come around, grab this, and again just get ready to block that. It wasn't the best. 50 because I ended up just a little bit too far behind the ball. They're just giving them a big old opening here. I'm going to try and kill that and take it into the corner. Actually, never mind. We'll stop it. And just tap that in. I thought about taking it into the corner to get it around them. And then this is again a high, you know, in, back in the day, they would have just faked that. But now everyone's so aggressive. So you'd actually fake the shot to go to the corner for boost to, you know, play the long game. But everyone's very much interested in the short game nowadays. So. They just dive forward into it. Pretty fortunate there. But they, they're like... Let's watch their, their kickoff. See how they're really kicking out to the side? So I noticed that on their nameplate on the first kickoff. So what's happening? You'll see it again. Oh, right, that one's a bit better. But they're just throwing themselves quite far out. So they're not... It's not optimal here. We don't really have to do too much here. You could fake that. We can grab this. We know they're low on boost. Actually, they've got a bit of boost. They took the mid. But they don't have a lot of boost here. I'm just going to take that up the wall. Fake going up. They're literally on zero here. I was going to say, the only thing they can do there is if they landed on us. Okay, that's fine. They really need to get out of this corner. Uh, dun, 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 corner to... Hook shot. Oh, go on. Oh, no. Duh. I was going to say, I've got to finish that off. I can't believe the tease of that. Look at that. The corner to hook shot. Bang. Slice hook shot there. Why? Because they were diving across though. So many different kinds of hook shot you can use. And then, yeah, just a little bit of everything was hit there. But it did eventually sink in. I'm going to grab this, go high, break, come down, side, like, take the 50, hook shot. Nice, well played from them. I'm going to come here, flash that position, come straight into the middle here. I'm sending their nameplate, here we go. They've got the aerials here, and just back for it. This main thing is just center that nameplate. Nice, center that nameplate. Because if you do that, you're hidden. If you do that, they don't know what's going on. They're going to hit that up nice and hard. Oh, nice. Good demo. They shouldn't be able to... Wow. What a shot. I was going to say, they shouldn't be able to score this. Let's have a look at this shot. So up nice and high to uh, put this... Like, normally you just jump off there, but that is an insane shot. Nice shot. I need to give them a nice shot there. That was brilliant. But again, you know, you can really see some good stuff from these players mechanically. Say no more. Up nice and high. Come here, come here, come here. Over the top. Fake the shot. Obviously, you just shoot that normally. I mean, they're right here with, like, an open net. You can see the open net. They've got the ball on their car. This is so dangerous for them. Back into the corner. Grab the boost. Right here. Here they come. Instantly. Whoa. Okay, I had some lag there. I have no idea how I didn't get up. The idea was you touch that and then you instantly jump and touch it. I'm not sure what happened here. I jumped. Okay. Couldn't get off the ground. I think I must have landed slightly off. That's interesting. Sometimes this game can be a little bit funny with that sort of stuff. But the idea the idea was there that we'd, we'd quickly jump up and try and center their nameplate. But do it in a way where it allows you to make a save. I know that sounds... Oh, open that. I know that sounds stupid. Go for the boost. But like, what a lot of people will do, when they start getting into this center in the nameplate stuff... Oh my god, I thought I hear that. I feel like uh, the game's getting a bit laggy now, but... They'll center the nameplate and then what they end up doing... We'll just go back to this. Grab that, it's off. Is they'll just center it the whole way and actually not defend the goal. Lateral dribble. Fake, fake, fake. Fade away 50. Because that's one of my sequences. Open net. Obviously, you could just put that in. Try not to do any shooting, to be honest. But there you go. They've got an aerial play here. Take your time. Up nice and high. You can really go for this because they're going to go for that mid boost. You could just go there. Just fade that. Fade away 50 again. Get these 50 wins. And again, there's another oh, surprise I didn't jump over that. 
there's another open net there, but we're just not going to take it. You can see they just play very fast and go for demos. And, and some of the time when you see these demos, you think, what the hell? I don't really see how that was a demo. Nice and high. Got bumped there. We're going to be able to come onto this ball, push forward here. We will have to do a flick. Just because we've got no boost. Uh, and I feel like I just got robbed. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> a couple of those bumps and stuff just don't make sense. So we will just take a flick goal. The reason we can do that is despite all these crazy mechanics, they're just so unnecessarily aggressive on the ball. And people say that's good, right? Not really. Like, it's, it's, you've got to have a balance, guys. You've got to have a balance. Take them out. Grab these pads. Just gonna wait for them to spawn. Like This is actually a decent ball. We can just jab this. And if they don't like the thing, is it's going to the corner. We can just do that. And now we can go. They lost their mobility. And then we just put it in. So again, they're facing forward. With, they've just lost their mobility. A very common thing for players to do. No one cares about mobility. In fact, everyone really oversteps. I see this in twos as well. Remember, when you're playing twos, and this is how you can link it, it's all about protecting your teammate, backing them up. If you're going in for fake challenges that send you past the opponent, that isn't going to be, that's not going to cut it. You've really got to make sure that everything is in front and you're safe. So actually, here we go. Against to here, our first grand champion in a uh, series so far that we can definitely confirm. Like I said, we've probably played a few anyway, but um, you just never know. So expect some cool stuff here as far as speed because they've been told to play fast. Again, lateral dribble from the corner. Fake it, fake, fake it. They're going very quick here. Take it back across, back into space. And again, they're <laughs> going to play for that boost. No, we're not. No demo. No demo. That's off. So we're fine. We should go to this boost here. There's actually a hook shot there. I'm going to switch over. They're going to dive in here. There we go. Let me just take that. Oh, no bump. What? I was trying to bump them. Didn't get the bump. Because I wanted to actually rotate their car out. So a bit unfortunate there. Obviously, if you're shooting, you could have just scored the open net. We'll try not to. Be careful with that. Okay, the reason I say that is, yeah, I was going to say, what they'll often do when they miss, oh, I missed the boost, is I'll instantly go for a demo. So that's actually where you want to think more about driving away. Perfect. Come on, buddy. There we go. Onto their net. Got the bump that time. That should be the open net. Ah, oh, <laughs> bad. Okay, we're going to drive into that. I know they're low on boost. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Let's give this a wait. There we go. We'll give it a wait. I'm just going to jab that towards the net. Going to give him a little jab. And we're going to fake this. There we go. Here comes the panics. Into the hook. Oh, just missing out on these demos. A couple of these demos and bumps have been a bit weird. This isn't a good ball. It's bouncing, but luckily they're going to hit it away. And we just take that into the corner. Look, they're just constantly in front of the ball. So they're just going so quick. This is what the thing is with a lot of people. This is their memo. It's just go as fast as possible. But they're just so quick. They keep ending up in front of the ball. It's like, so now you start to think, well, can the corner stuff work? And it does. But you just, again, it's just, again, they're, the way they're defending isn't, like you could almost say it's not high enough quality to actually even need some of the stuff we can do. And there we go again. There's an open net. Is that got enough spin on it? Oh, there's a hook shot opportunity. Or I saw one. I'm going to fake it there. Here we go. Aerials. I'm going to back all the way up here. Drive up and just tap that to the side. Again here. Grab this. Back in the corner. Let's see what they want to do. See what they want to do. We're going to push this. And we've got a hook shot here. We've got a hook shot angle. But they've backed all the way off internet. Hold on. Again, they never hook shot angle. And then fade away. Play on the 50, and then you just score that right there. It's an open net. We'll fake the aerial because I don't want to do too much, but you can just see, just fading away, guys. Just fade away. Just driving off when they come in for that 50. So all I'm doing there is I'm accessing. Can I get a good hook shot off? Mm, not too sure. They backed up quite well. Can I beat them with the uh, hook shot? I don't think I could have. I don't think I could have timed it properly there. It was a bit awkward. But then it's like right back to the 50. Then. So jab it. Get a nice bounce roll. Fake. So they jump. And then here, grab this boost, cut into the middle, and then you can go for your, your shot there, your hook shot. But we just take a 50, grab this. Difficult balls again, so we've got to make sure we get up early. Yeah, pretty pretty difficult that ball was, I'm not going to lie to you. So we got up early. Obviously, we don't want to do any air rolls or anything like that, but that bounce was a bit unlucky. All right, we're going to fade this kickoff. 
Now we're going to move into the middle. Tap that to the side. Keep your eye. Whoa, okay. I thought I honestly won that. Got to be real careful here. That's really unfortunate. Ah, oh, man, that is brutal. I Because my <laughs> monitors are so wide, I looked away. I honestly thought I won that uh, boost. Damn. That's a shame. All right, so we'll take advantage of this. Just jab it on. You'd be surprised how many, like, I say high-level players. Good demo. Uh, do really well, you know. Um, really struggle to save those balls. That was bad for me. I didn't flash the position. I was there too long. So, again, they just hit it, and they're always ahead of the ball. It's a, it's a difficult thing to get used to because they, um, they're they not really trying to set up any offense, which is why these types of players, it's funny, this is sort of like what I'm on about with using ones as a training platform. They're very good at like ones, but they're not very good at twos because they keep driving ahead of the play. We're going to grab that early. I'm just going to shoot that around them. Take them out there. You come up here, tap this ball down, and I will just take this with a little fake and then just put it in. So yeah, so what he's doing there is really like quite decent in ones because you're hitting the ball forward and you're demoing the man, but it's not very good for two because you push yourself in front of the ball, which you generally don't want to do. And this is where the difficulty comes between twos and ones. And drop that ball, instantly double jump because he's, oh, I'm dead again. <laughs> Try not to die next time. But yeah, just move it out of the way. Come in nice and quick and then boom. Try and hide your nameplate so you can side up into it. And again here this position because it's just so fast crikey but they're not really doing anything it's just so quick but nothing's getting done but the thing is with this is just look at this it's just so much boost usage gonna come in there I mean you could score so many goals here just jump that over the top jump that in it's just so overly aggressive it really is and, and you again like we're pulling this like super no mechanics here but um, you could honestly just finish a lot of these open nets here, guys. I'm really um, not doing that. Try to get them. We'll actually just shoot that high. I thought we were going to come in. Slight disadvantage on that kickoff. Thinking about it. Don't want to overextend. Grab this boost. Into the middle here. Into the middle. Just do that. Even though I'm dead, it's going to... Oh, nice bounce straight back into the middle again. <laughs> it's going to fade that. I need to go up there and I jump too far forward. So again, a really good demo off the play there. A couple of unfortunate demos here. I've got to be honest, some of them have been really good. Some of them just, I've got to be honest, I've been unfortunate. I didn't really want to start hovering yet. Uh, it's really in diamond, but yeah, it's almost forced into hovering. Flick that up. The low percentage shot from them. I'm actually going to grab this. Okay, we're allowed to go for a buzzer beater here. Oh, what? <laughs> You even heard it. Like, d -d -d -d. all right, we'll take this kick off. Could be our first loss. And that aerial demo was the story of it. Actually, going to go there. I'm surprised I had a flip after I landed. I'm gonna have to back off. This isn't good. This is not good. But luckily, they've thrown it all away. We're gonna grab this boost here. Come into position here. We're gonna let them outplay themselves here. Okay. I'm going to have to take that 50. I, I, this is where you want power slide cuts, to be honest. Might have to introduce the power slide cut. Oh, never mind. Oh, I've missed. That actually worked. Back up the wall again. That, if I didn't miss, that would have been a goal. But I think we're going to need to power slide cut here. Oh, never mind. They're just overextending. Looking for demos. We're going to grab this. We're actually going to switch around. And I'm just going to shoot it in. They're just chasing for these demos here, and it's putting them out of position. We haven't been taking advantage of it, but because they're doing that, they need boost all the time. So you can just tap it across and hook it in. But good game, that was. A lot of, lot of demo chasing and a lot of open nets. You can, you honestly can finish them, but uh, we're trying to keep this a little bit fair because we're still in diamond here. But yeah, good stuff. That's our first grand champ. We got him down. We hit him with a hook shot. <laughs> That's the main thing. Guys, thank you so much for the spot on this series. Really appreciate it. Any questions or comments below? Uh, any questions please do comment below and remember we still do have the premium passive system available so let me know if you want to get involved in that thank you very much look after yourself and peace out peace peace